uh, well, have you have you heard the news? Lara actually breaks for yard sales. As, uh, yeah. Actually, as uh, Kathy Griffin reminded us uh, eloquently and rather dangerously yesterday, she, uh, in her appearance, she was throwing actual books at the audience. And I got to tell you, if she had any sort of arm, we were sending some people to the hospital. Yeah. Uh, however, yeah, no, that, it, it, everybody's safe. Yes, uh, everybody's safe and some pieces are now saved because yeah. we're joined today by a couple of Good Afternoon America viewers who wrote us asking me us for advice. Too, yeah. Um, um, yes, um, us. Yes. Yeah, you were right there yeah. by my side for all of these. Um, for advice on how to take beloved pieces of furniture, um, which may have fallen on a hard times, right. all this junk, yeah. and transform them into treasures using really cheap and easy do-it-yourself tips. Yeah, what so did it take us? Like a, yeah, a few minutes. Just yeah, I mean, yeah, you great. yeah, you came awesome. over, yeah, you, you primed, I painted. Yeah, it, was it was perfect. Great. I supervised. Uh, I supervised. Uh, I supervised. So Samantha Mokel from Pennsylvania reached out to us on Facebook, and she said, "My future mother-in-law found this amazing." table for me at a yard sale, but we are unsure of what to do with it. We would love to turn this trash into treasure to be able to use it for my engagement party at the end of, this, of September. So here's the table and here's Samantha. Come on up, Samantha. And um, just so you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be candid with you. Um, you, you. You got the table to us and um, I was excited. It said this amazing table. This was not an amazing table. This table was, um, it's a, pl almost plywood. It turns out these are from Sears. They're kits from like the 70s. It was like a colt that had, you know, sort of the rickety legs when it first gets up. It was in really tough shape. So we re-glued it all. Yeah. And then what we discovered, I don't know if you know this, this is actually a vanity table. And so we brought it back to its original bop, form bop, and function. Bop, and Josh bop, will bop. do the honors. Yeah. I mean, after all, a man works hard. The least he can do is, you know, take the blanket off. And so that there's this, uh, this fabric thing. I just did a really cute little fabric yep. skirt. Oh, and that's just how it would go. And then you put your little bench under it. And then I don't know if you knew, but there's yeah. even a drawer inside yeah, that, that you great? would put your makeup and hang a little mirror above. Um, some tips if you're going to do this. Uh, always on lesser quality woods, use primer. Uh, very, very key. Uh, if you're going to use fabric, I suggest that you use Velcro. Velcro tape is your friend yeah. because you can change your mind. You can yep. do this for your little girls from yes. down the road. Do you think this is something that you could put cocktails out and make it a little bar for your for your? Yes, we're doing a uh, spiked apple cider. So I figured you put it up here and then do stuff underneath. That's great. All right. Yeah. So there you have it. I love it. Thank you so much. I'm glad. I'm glad. Josh is exhausted. Yeah. I just want you. Yeah. Hey. You're welcome. All right, here we go. So. Um, gosh, I love this. Um, this we was did. a really beautiful. This was our favorite? Yes, this yeah. was. On, uh, on Twitter, Beverly Davis from North Carolina wrote in saying, help me transform this little table. I bought it, bought it in England. One room is done with a London theme. Beverly, where are you? Come, Come on, on up, Beverly. Beverly. So Beverly. Uh, this had a, a loose leg. The top was really tired. You said I could do whatever I wanted. You said that you love all things England. Yes, our whole room is done there. We used to live in England when my husband was stationed there. Wow. And I found this at a boot sale. A yard sale, mm -hmm. as they're called there. Paid five pounds for it, which is about eight or nine dollars. Well, we wanted to bring a little eight, bit of uh, <laughs> we want to we want to we want to bring a little bit of London to you back home with you to North Carolina. Okay, so here's ready? what I did. I hope ready? you like it. Um, we use painter's tape, really easy trick to create straight edges. Um, think about using tabletops as, as a, a canvas to create yeah, art. For sure. And also make sure that you cover it in glass to preserve your hard work. Yeah. But straight edge tape is a really fun way. You could do stripes, you could do a rainbow. In your case, we did the Union Jack. I love it. And, I, love uh, it. I hope Thank that you, you enjoy it. Because that's, that's oh, what we beautiful. are. You know, Thank you. All right, we're going to save our last one. We're we on. have one more, but we've run out of time. Because, well, Which is sad because that's the one I did and you know, um, whatever, I just assume it was good.